Hi there, how you going? I wanted to show you guys a protocol that Renee and I use and recommend for so many situations. And it's using four oils from the Essential Collection or the Home Essentials Kit, two of our most popular kits for people when they're getting started. So the four, four oils that I wanted to talk about today are On Guard, Oregano, Tea Tree, and Lemon. And we can also add in frankincense because Frank, he's the king of the oils. If in doubt, use frankincense. He's the go-to guy. He will help in every situation. So I wanted to show you these four oils and how they can be used as a natural antibacterial, antiviral, antiparasitic, anti-inflammatory, and also boost your immune system and provide a mild detox as well. So I'm sure you now understand why we go to this uh, protocol and why we use it in so many situations. So if your immune system's compromised, you've got some seasonal threats, and you're looking to boost your immune system, especially with this time of the year, uh, being winter, uh, then I highly recommend using these four oils together. So the first way we can use and what we recommend you use or how you recommend uh, we recommend you use these oils is internally in veggie cap. So uh, quite easy to uh, make this veggie cap. Uh, all you do is just grab a veggie cap out and the, uh, the cap comes off and you can get veggie caps from anywhere. You don't have to get them from doTERRA. You can get them from health food stores and online. Um, CapturalGuy.com.au uh, is a place that you can go. So quite easy, take the cap off like so, and you become your own little at home chemist. You grab your, your bottle, it doesn't matter which order they go in, but just be careful when you drop them out. They are different consistencies or different viscosities and they do come out at different rates. That was just two drops of the On Guard there. We've got two drops of the Oregano, which is our very hot oil. And it's a bit thicker, so it comes out slower. We've got Tea Tree, which is our antibacterial oil. And it can be used for skin bacterial infections and um, other bacterial related issues. And then our Lemon, which we start every single day with internally. I'm going to also add two drops of Frankincense to this one as well, because remember I said that if in doubt use frankincense it's highly anti-inflammatory as well and also has a bunch of other amazing properties to it too so i've just got two drops of each of those uh, four oils that i mentioned uh, with frankincense added once again you don't have to add frankincense now with that veggie cap it's as simple as just taking that with some water um, and, and putting that down the hatch. So I wouldn't recommend this for uh, people, definitely people who can't take capsules, um, and also children who uh, are under the, the age of, you know, around about 10 to 12. Um, it's also up to you how you feel, what you're comfortable with in providing your children as well. That's, um, that's just a guide for you. So in the case where you're going to use them topically, you don't have veggie caps, perhaps you've just got the kit, which is fine. And this is the first way that I got the benefit from these oils is I use them topically. So I'm just gonna show you how I use them topically and how you can also use the fractionated coconut oil if you're applying them to um, sensitive skin or, um, or children. Um, so I'd simply just layer these oils. Just get two drops of each. I've got two drops of On Guard there and just apply them rub that in because um, oregano is our more uh, spicier oil I'm going to show you how you can dilute this uh, really simply for the bottoms of the feet um, so you can either put them in a separate container dilute them together and then apply them in this case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two drops of oregano on the bottoms of my feet two and then two drops or two or three drops of the uh, fractionated coconut oil. Um, because the bottoms of the feet are quite a thick piece of skin uh, for uh, sensitive skin for adults, you could do a, a one to one or a two to one ratio. So two drops of fractionated coconut oil to every one drop of the oregano. Um, and that will uh, reduce or remove the possibility of any sort of skin irritation. And like I said, you don't have to do that for adults. I would recommend doing that for children and sensitive skin. So just moving on to our next oil there, we've got tea tree, just layering, continuing to layer. 
true drops of tea tree there on the bottoms of the feet and lemon two drops of that wrap that into the bottoms of my feet my immune system is going to be nicely boosted and last one frankincense two drops of that rub that in now you don't have to go ice skating across the wooden floorboards or rub this into uh, your carpet straight away what I'd recommend is doing is getting a pair of um, bed socks or similar and putting them on before you walk your oils all around the place so when you're using this protocol either internally or topically make sure you're only using it for 10 days of the month morning and night so for 10 days it could be the start of the month you can use it proactively uh, if you're coming into a season where uh, you know, your immune system will be compromised you know you're going to be compromised and you can use it proactively or you can also use it reactively as well hope you've got a lot out of uh, my little video today and um, you get on top of your seasonal threats thanks for watching guys bye bye